accessories. What do you want to know? I feel like you and some at you and some bit. Oh, Simba and I grew up together. And then when his father died, he, well, Simba and I grew up as best friends. Simba always knew he was going to be king. So, at first he didn't want to be king. He refused to be king. Not be king? That's crazy! Yes, I know it's crazy, Tigger, but that was your uncle Simba. He didn't want to be king. Mm. First he did, and he thought once he was going to be the best king ever. He even ran away from Zazu. That bird is weird. That bird is weird. But he helps. I don't know if I like him. You don't like him either, Kong? <coughs> yeah, he takes a lot to get used to. But he's been with the family for a long, long time. So I guess you just have to deal with him. <coughs> That's funny. Okay. Anybody else have stories? I do. Once upon a time, there was a little brown bear. And the bear lived in a cave, and the cave, and he slept all winter long. Well, he was supposed to. But he had a friend. And his friend was a big black cat who liked to sleep in trees. So one day, the little tiger thought it would be funny to scare the big cat. So the little tiger climbed up to the tree and tiptoed quietly to where the cat was. And he made sure the cat was sleeping. And then he jumped on the cat and said, Boo! And the cat got scared and the cat went, Meow! And the cat tree and into the water and he was so wet. <laughs> that was Magira. <laughs> he can't stay in his tree. I think he sleeps in trees that are too small for him. Uh oh. I think we need to go back to the den. Want to say Kong? Okay, come on, children. It just sounds like Godzilla is in pain. Rafiki, go check. You must come too, Quinala. Your your husband must be there too. Kong, go get Simba. Was, was that Godzilla we heard? Yes, he sounds like he's in pain. That worries me. What happened? He came into all that fight. There must still be a little bit of pain from it. <sighs> what the? What happened? He's hurt. He gets cuts all over his chest. Uh, Emma. What is that? Looks like a cyborg or a cyclops. Now 
robots be now is a good time to send in that robot me and Kion made. It's no longer here, remember? Ah, Queen Ola, you weren't here when me and Kion worked on a new experiment. Hey, you go get it. I would tend to his wounds. Behold, Magida. Magira, why mode? 
Godzilla really be fighting in the state he's in?
so bad, but let's win this. Doesn't look so good. I don't hate it well. Looks like that whatever that thing was kind of cut his gills a little bit. Didn't take time to heal. I mean Godzilla can heal from this, but it might take him a while. Well, looks like the robot worked as a as a distraction really well. Yeah, but still, King Kong, Godzilla still got her. Well, yeah, that's because he didn't decide to stay back and heal. Uh, I don't think Royal should see this because not only does Royal have a bond with Kong, he has a small bond with Godzilla, so. Yeah, Royal is. I don't know who Royal is. Uh, probably, probably still somewhere. <laughs> Magira, don't you dare. Magira, no. Hey, you wake up. What on earth? What's wrong with Godzilla? He fought this huge thing with like hooks for hands. Does a good get the healing mud? Healing mud? What the heck is healing mud? Mm, never mind. Shouldn't we let Godzilla heal himself? Cause then he has a healing factor. Well, this will help the pain until he gets. Where is Bean? Oops. He called Sire. Go get the healing mud from Captain. Ah, the powder. Yes, the powder, the powder. <laughs> Again. Seriously, Rail. Oh. Really necessary? Yes. Ooh. 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 
are hurting now. Yeah, he can take the husbands and come me in the morning. <laughs> Get it? Two husbands. <laughs> I think that monkey has more issues than the feet he does. Rain, rain, come again. Rain, oh God, rain. Again. The, the rain, rain, what's the rain, 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 Does rain, really think it's gonna make that, it, that's rain, gonna make it rain? Captain, we're not ready for rain. This isn't a plant chance to rain dance. You're supposed to hit the powder on him so he won't hurt so much. That's it. Hi. Okay, okay, I did, I did, I did, I did. Stop doing that dance. <laughs> Disrespectful little monkey. <laughs> At least Rafiki has more manners than you. I get it from Rafiki. No, you don't. He, uh, he was always the troublemaker of the family. I can tell. You are a bunch of baboons. Was he? Was that monkey always look that crazy? Yeah. Uh, what did he catch in his Uh, yeah, he would. How far did you hear Godzilla's pain roar? Wait, if Kong heard it too, why didn't he show up? Who knows? You would have think if he would have heard the pain roar just as much as we have, he would have came over as well. But Saya, you have to under you have to remember, Kong hates Godzilla. Well, yeah, but still. I feel like if Kong wanted not not wanted to hear that roar again, he would have came anyways. That's just me though. Uh, that's it, sire. So, what were you and the others up to before that roar happened? Oh, we were telling the children stories. Hmm, I see. I'm surprised uh, Tigger hasn't. Try to bond with his cousin yet. Or cousins. Oh, nice. He's an odd little fella. Odd how exactly? One day he's very, very curious, and then the next day he's not. Oh well, my guess, he was telling stories about Bagheera. How did you know? Lucky guess. Plus, somehow, some way, the story of Bagheera falling out of the tree just made it all over the Pride Lands. <laughs> Bagheera's not gonna like that when he comes back. 
No, he will not. And he's probably going to blame Captain and Captain and uh, Bean for it. Because they're the ones made fun of him for falling out of the tree. It was funny. 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 Yeah, you would say that one too. Not the first time he fell out of a tree. Won't be the last time. What do you mean that's not the first time he fell out of a tree? He goes off the tree whenever there are children around. They like to scare him. But every time he just falls out of the tree. Falls off the tree, they push him into the water, they push him off the rock. Poor Bagheera. They wrestle with him. They always tell him, Oh, Bagheera, we can play trust us. Let's see that you can trust us. And then what happens? He falls off a rock or a tree. It's probably why he's not in the Pride Lounge right now. There is this one time. You remember, Royal. So one time where him and Prince and some of the other cubs were all walking backwards and they bit Magira he couldn't walk backwards so Magira said he could and the children were supposed to tell Magira when to stop so he walked backward and kept walking and walking and walking and walking. The kids never told him to stop, which they should have, because Bagheera fell right into the river. And man, you can hear that cat. Well, the cat is what. Poor Bagheera has a bad experience with cubs, doesn't he? He falls for it. They, they don't know what they do. They do something. Give him a look or something. After he tells them no, and then he goes and he changes his mind, knowing that he's going to pay for it. Like I said, poor Bagheera. Always getting bullied. Probably been probably bullied by you too, Bean. Me, not me. Okay. Like when he falls off the tree. So maybe once or twice I've snuck up behind him. Or hide in the tree at night and make a sound. You don't make a sound, B. You squawk. Oh my gosh. A loud howling squawk. Is actually Baloo as well. Baloo has been scared by it, by it too. Yeah. This is when he's sleeping. Wow, Bean, you are probably the worst pterodactyl on planet Earth. He he had this costume in the jungle. He mean it was pure black. Uh, what or maybe he was painting himself black, I can't remember. So midnight in the jungle it's dark and all you see is this, this two little green eyes walking towards you. No body, no leaves, no nothing. So walking towards you making it <laughs> sound all the way through the trees or wherever. Get the jeepers out of you. Bean, do you really do that? A few times. A few. <laughs> and he'll like hide in the bushes at night. And all you see is these green eyes watching you. Staring at you. Moving every which way you move.
to be continued.